Thinking about applying for the OC test, we know how hard it is to scavenge accurate information on opportunity classes, so at Matrix we've collected everything you need to know about the OC test to prepare your child for academic success. Later in the video, we'll also be joined by Matrix Scholarship student Cindy Chin with her personal insights on the OC test and school experience. So let's start with the most important question. What are opportunity classes? Opportunity classes are academically exclusive classes offered in select New South Wales public schools. These classes cater to academically gifted students with high potential. Classes run from year five to six and to enter an opportunity class, students must sit a placement test in year four. Now, you might be asking what exactly is tested in the opportunity class placement test? The test is divided into three sections. First is a reading test of 25 multiple choice comprehension questions in 30 minutes. The second section is a mathematical reasoning test of 35 multiple choice questions in 40 minutes. And the final section is a thinking skills test of 30 multiple choice questions in 30 minutes. For an in-depth overview on each of the testing sections, visit our opportunity class guide on the Matrix blog. Additionally, you can access our free downloadable OC skills quiz to assess your child's critical thinking ability. Just click the link in the description box below. Today, we've asked Cindy Chin to share her opportunity class experience. She'll go through how she prepared for the OC test, her exam day experience, and what year five and year six as an OC student was like. I took the test in 2014. Um, I took it because I wanted to prepare for the selective tests in year six. And also a lot of people around me, my classmates, they were taking it and I found it to be a great opportunity to give myself a go and see if I can um, get into this, this class which will prepare me better for um, high school. So I prepared for the OC test by doing um, different questions and approaching each subject um, in a specific manner. So for um, thinking skills and maths, um, I would do like different question types and learn how to do it effectively using different processes. And um, by learning that methodically, you can do more question questions that target those structures so you become more familiar with them and during the test you're more likely to actually like get that it's a question type like that and you can approach it in a specific way and since it's under time conditions as well it's really effective to do that because um, you you don't feel like panicking when you see a question you don't know since you know it's falls under a certain question type that you learned before and also to do it under time pressure, especially when you're getting familiar with the question types is really useful because it, it is a short time and you should be able to manage your time effectively during the exam. Um, and then after you do it at home, like mock exams, you like mark it. Um, and if there's anything you got wrong, see why you got it wrong, like seek like teachers, um, or like, why did I get this wrong? or like. Um, to go through the answers yourself and each time you'll be improving a bit. For the reading section, um, other than doing the practice papers, I also did a lot of reading outside like fiction um, and just short stories because it's like comprehension and you, I like, was able to read it pretty fast and know the main points and remember the main points as I did the questions. Um, that helped me in comprehension, like going faster and being more accurate in um, my answers. The most helpful form of practice was like exam style practice papers, um, doing them under time conditions and then um, marking it straight afterwards and getting an explanation to questions you got wrong and how you can improve and not make the same mistake the next time. That was really helpful. The OC test day at the start, it was a little bit stressful when you were going in, but as soon as you started doing the test, it was much more calmer because you've seen these questions before, you've been practicing them, and you know how long you should be spending on each question. Um, and all in all, it was a good, it was a good experience. So my OC class experience was there was 30 people and throughout these two years, you get to know each other really well. You get to bond and also bond with the teacher. The teacher knows what your learning strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and that helps you um, to prepare for the selective test in that way. And also everyone was working towards 
completing a selective test, like everyone took it. So um, during that first year and a half when you're preparing for it, it's more focused and um, everyone's motivated towards doing the same thing. If opportunity classes sound like something that could be useful for your child, the next step is to prepare your child for the test. One key takeaway is that your child's reading and literacy level is extremely important for all aspects of the OC test, not just reading comprehension. A strong foundation in reading will allow your child to efficiently and accurately understand written questions presented in the thinking skills and mathematical reasoning sections of the test. To build these foundational reading and literacy skills, we recommend encouraging your child to read daily and broadly by making reading a fun and interactive process. How do you do this? Use reading lists and activity-based reading logs to foster interest in reading and encourage your child to talk about what they read. Ask your child questions about the book they're reading, ask them what the story is about, who are the characters in it, and what interests them the most about the book. Eventually, this method of engagement can be translated to the OC test. When your child reads an exam question, they should be asking what it's about, what are the main points of the question, and what the question is trying to ask. If you're looking for more tips, study secrets, and useful content to support your child's OC prep, check out The Matrix blog. We have free comprehensive guides, worksheets, and a range of downloadable study content you can use at home. Like and subscribe for future videos.